Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, great week. It's a no great month. Oh, my God, it's November 1st. You're going to love it. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you got to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your love. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you're there, to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 57, NASDAQ up 42, SP's flat, gold contract up $9.30, trading at $17.93 an ounce. We got silver up 11 cents, $24.06 6 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up 48 cents, $84. Notes and bonds. The 10 year down three ticks, trading 130.19. The 30 year off 18 at 160.09 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up by 222 ticks, trading 93.900. Euro is 116. Yen is at 114. The British pounds at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you get a sideways market out here, folks. And I expect you're going to see a sideways market right up until Wednesday. So the Fed starts meeting tomorrow. We'll have a statement at 2 o'clock Wednesday with a news conference at 2.30 Wednesday. The SPY out here, bottom line, closed at all-time highs on Friday. Uh, you're, you're, well, you're, you're flat. The SPY is trading uh, down uh, two, two cents right now. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. They all closed at uh, all-time highs except the Dow, and the Dow uh, basically uh, has already hit an all-time high out here today. The NDX 100, the three Qs, that also hit an, an all-time high. Uh, we are at uh, 385 right now, and uh, we closed at uh, 386.11 on uh, Friday. And the Dow Industrials, I believe this finally hit another all-time high today. Yeah, it did, big time. Now, the Dow got all the way up to the uh, 36,009 mark today and then decided to give it up. So this is going to get really interesting. And what you have here inside the Dow Industrials, by the way, folks, is this. You have two separate, basically, bearish occurrences. You, you had the first one that was on the 26th. That's when it couldn't hold price. Then you come down volume. Bottom line, you get higher today, and it's, not, it's giving up on price again. So... That, if we go look at the diamonds, it will be a little bit clearer when you're looking at the diamonds because the volume will be underneath it. What you're going to be able to see is that on the 26th, you hit a high, uh, 358.93. Oh, one second. Yeah, 358.93. You did that with 3.1 million. Then you come down with 3.5. Now we're making a new high with 2.1 and let's see, 358. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have a failure in price and volume. Uh, inside of the, well, here, let's go to the gold contract first. Gold. Gold contract out here is trading at a price point of 1793. Gold came down hard and fast on Friday, big time. Uh, that being said, guess what? You didn't break a lower swing point. When you don't break a lower swing point, folks, the bottom line is that it's not bearish. Um, volume came out of it, no doubt about that. But what was happening is that you're also going into 290,000. You're going into its strength. And we came down with uh, 225, 255 rather. Bottom line, that still say he wants higher price. The divergence that we have out here is pretty cool. And what the divergence was, was this. As gold got smacked, silver didn't, which is just so unusual, man. It just, just normally just doesn't happen. I mean, silver came down, but no big deal. I mean, silver got down to a price point of 23.70, closed at 23.99, still wants higher price. Um, and what you do have out here is that when I was doing the gold report over the weekend, the silver equities are actually stronger than the gold equities. So this is going to get pretty wild watching how this thing is going to shake out. Now, let's go take a look at King Dollar because King Dollar had an amazing day on Friday as gold went down. King dollar was up over a thousand ticks. Now, that being said, <laughs> what, what has happened, let me show, make sure, yeah, what has happened is that King dollar, so I was talking about swing points in general, and gold on the way down came down hard and fast, 
but yet couldn't take a swing point out. The dollar goes topside and couldn't take a swing up point out. It's like, okay, man. So that is not a bullish occurrence at this particular point. Right now, we're at 93,901, so we're still fighting about 93,729. And what I expect we're going to see is that we are going to see when the Fed comes out that that is when we're going to have monster movements. My take right now is that the dollar will go higher, that the metals are going to go, uh, the dollar is going to go lower, the metals are going to go higher. Uh, now, what's also happened out here is this. The market, and I've been trying to figure this out for a while, man. The bottom line, which is really so unusual, the market actually likes a stronger dollar and doesn't like a weaker dollar. So this is going to be so weird, man, because each, <laughs> I mean, that is just kind of the opposite of normally how it's been shaken out. But this baby um, has, the dollar's been going up for a long time, as has the market. And it seems like each and every time that the dollar does not catch a bid, uh, what you have here is that the market goes south simultaneously too. Platinum, let's go take a look at the platinum market out here. The active contract right now, that's trading up $47. You're at 1,067. And this has strength behind it. This is more, oh, and this is what I wanted to tell you about the gold market. The XAU, the HUI, they all very well are setting up monster ABC structures on the way up. Um, oh, this is nice platinum. Platinum's doing the same thing. So platinum's coming into a swing point with 18,000 contracts. You've done 16,000 so far. Hasn't hit the, the swing point yet, which is 1,080. I expect we'll go after it. If it takes the swing point out with volume, you're talking, let's see, what do we got here? 940, you get 140 A to B. So you're talking about uh, 1,140 bucks. And right now, you're 1067. If we go take a look at the XAU and the HUI, you're going to see that both of these also very well could be uh, some nice ABC structures on the way up. And if they are, they're, they're really large ones. We'll see how it, it shakes out, and we'll see do when the Fed comes out, you know, bottom line. Uh, are they still going to be dovish? And I suspect they're going to be. The thing that's so weird, man, inflation's raging, man. I mean, it, there's no doubt it's raging. And we'll see how they're going to try to back away from it, saying that uh, it's, it's still transitory. Dow Industrials right now up 53. NASDAQ is up 46. S&P up one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.